join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome. Today is going to be my first time watching Alien vs. Predator. The very first movie reaction that I did on this channel was to the first Alien movie. And since then, I've done Aliens, Predator, Predator 2, Predators, and Prey. And now I am finally ready to watch Alien vs. Predator. People have been requesting Alien vs. Predator since that first Alien reaction, but I wanted to know something about the Predator going into this. And I know it's been a long time, and I'm excited, and I hope you're excited. Thank you guys very much for coming and checking this out with me. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Let's do it. Hey. Where is she? Right above Sector 14. There isn't anything in Sector 14. There is now. <clears throat> okay, well, color me intrigued. What's in Sector 14? Is it this chick? Oh, it's just some crazy ice climber. <laughs> Never mind, guys. False alarm. <laughs> Hello. Miss Woods. My name's Maxwell Staff. I represent Wayland Industries. <laughs> Mr. Wayland, he's offered to fund the foundation with which you are associated for a full year if you meet with him. Tomorrow. <sighs> Tomorrow's gonna be a problem. Take me a week to get back to the world. He said he didn't have a week. Hi. <laughs> you can't even go to the distant corner of the world to, to hide. Oh, look. Is it Aztec and Pyramid? Probably something like that. We must be right on top of it. Sir, you are crazy. You don't know what's down there. That's not nice. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear it. But my Siri said that's not nice. I didn't say anything to you. <laughs> that's all it was. Thomas, the burial chamber is here. I know it. We are gonna find it. I know it too, but without a crew and a new permit, we're out of business. I'll get us more money. Right. I might be able to help you accomplish that, Professor. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have um, switched the flash off. Or you should have just not taken pictures of me while I'm sleeping? I'm documenting the trek from my boys. This is them. Jacob and Scotty. I'm Graham Miller. I'm a chemical engineer. Alexa Woods, environmental technician and guide. Lex, you and your friend buckle up. We're gonna hit some turbulence. Thanks, Jack. Pass the PSR. Oh, damn! I wish you got a picture. What's the PSR? The PSR is the point of safe return. Oh. If something went wrong, we could uh, land, presumably. We could ditch. The temperature of the water would kill us in three minutes. <laughs> Don't tell him that when we're going through turbulence. Some of you may be wondering why this team has been assembled. I'm wondering, yes. The red lines indicate solid walls, and we've generated a rough three-dimensional image of the structure. My experts tell me it's a pyramid. One expert tells me this has features reminiscent of the Aztecs. Another tells me it's probably Cambodian. What they all agree on is that the smooth side is definitively Egyptian. I think your experts are right. Which one? All of them? All of them. This pyramid contains the features of all three cultures. Ancient maps show Antarctica free of ice. It's likely the continent was once habitable. Okay. An ancient civilization. Where exactly on the ice is this? Bovatoya Island. But it's not on the ice. It's, it's under 2,000 feet below it. 2,000 feet? We'll chew to that depth in seven days. And add three weeks on top of that to train everyone here. We don't have that kind of time, Miss Woods. I'm not Why the not? only one with a satellite over Antarctica. Oh. The race? No one in this room is ready for this trip. Safety first. And I think I speak for everyone aboard this ship. This is worth the risk. Find another guide. She'll do it. Mr. Whalen, what I told you in there wasn't bullshit. If you rush this, people will get hurt. We need you to take us from the ship to the pyramid and then back to the ship. That's it. Yeah, 2,000 feet down. I wish you were going with us. 
Ooh. That's pretty. Uh, it's in the upper atmosphere. Never seen one in person. Shackleton called Antarctica the last great journey left to man. It's completely free. I'm sort of partial to the penguins. I wish you'd reconsider coming with us. Look. Come on, don't make me pull up pictures of my kids again. Okay? <laughs> Your kids aren't that cute. Damn. Do we stand a better chance of surviving with you or with a number two choice? The Predators! Are there going to be three of them? When they said other people were going to find it and come for it, I think he was thinking about other humans. That's stay. what I was thinking. You can't resist my animal magnetism. It is my job to keep you alive on this expedition. Three simple rules. One, no one goes anywhere alone. Two, everyone must maintain constant communication. Three, no one tries to be a hero. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. Seven seasons on the ice and I've never seen a gun save someone's life. Same principle as a condom. I'd rather have one and not need it than need it and not have one. Smart. I'm, I need to remind myself not to get too invested in these characters, not get too attached to any of them. What's with the bottle cap? This is a, a valuable archaeological find. <laughs> You know what they call a moon that big? La Luna del Cacciatore. Hunter's moon. Cacciatore. Hunter. I thought it was some sort of pasta noodle, sorry. <laughs> oh. It's an abandoned whaling station. The pyramid is located directly beneath it. That can't be a coincidence, right? Did someone find it before them? Like a while back? Okay, guys, let's move out. It looks too cold there. Jeez. It startled me. The station was abandoned in 1904. Everyone 1904. It was a big mystery back then. So the predators, I assume, are like en route right now. And maybe the aliens are down there. So maybe the aliens came in 1904 somehow. Took everybody out, took them down to their nests, gobbled them up or whatever. Down into the pyramid. Yeah. That's probably it. Oh. oh. Maybe you shouldn't touch anything. For one, why is he there by himself? I hope that's just a... Well? I don't know what I hope it is. There's probably not rats out here. Are there ice rats? Oh, Lex! No one goes anywhere alone. <laughs> she got to see her penguin! Careful, they bite. They do? Hey! Oh, they're here! Oh, they're here! What is it? It's a slide, let's go. Looks fun. Maybe they won't have to dig. There it is, clear as day. And the same time yesterday. Nothing. What? Thermal equipment of some kind. Like yours? Way more advanced. More advanced. I've never seen anything like it. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, see, I'm so glad I waited till I watched... At least one Predator movie, but I'm glad I watched as many as I did. There's no room for sick men on this expedition. You know when you get sick, you think about your life and how you're going to be remembered. I've heard this speech before. I need this. I say let him go. If he wants to do it and knows the risk and he's willing to... I mean, he's sick? Maybe terminal? We don't know. This might be better than slowly dying in a hospital bed. Oh, it's windy. Oh. Oh, no. Well, well, he can't die already. It's too soon. Not like this. <laughs> Damn. She 
is insane. Oh, their ship kind of looks like their helmets. Uh, whoa. And with all this wind and noise, they you didn't even notice, really. One, two, three, here they come. Um, yeah, she did not look scared. She was just like very just she did what she had to do. Boom. Amazing level of like emotional control. Ooh. Usually when you see something like this, it's like it's very bright, sunny outside, clear skies, desert or forest around, maybe in a jungle, but this is different. Congratulations, Mr. Whalen. In a dark cave. Looks like you'll be leaving your mark after all. Thank you. Thank you all for this. Oh. The alien versus the predator. So did an ancient human civilization build this? Oh god, booby traps. Oh no, I don't think so. Did the predators build this? Whoa, Xen a xenomorph queen? Oh god, it's so... Uh, I'm feeling all nervous now. <laughs> like, the Predator movies have been very tense and action-packed, but it's been a while since I've seen something as horrifying as the Alien movies. Those who choose may enter. Oh. Okay. It's not choose. It's chosen. Oh. A little bit less inviting when you say it that way. Here they come. to go down the slide well a couple of those guys that they killed were armed but i don't think all of them were so i'm wondering if they the predators are more interested in getting down there and will just take out whatever's kind of in their way i don't think these are like who they're hunting specifically obviously what is all this these are not going to be trophies. The sacrificial They're chamber. going to the trophies. This is where the chosen ones were offered to the gods. They went to die willingly. It was considered an honor. I'm not sure how he knows all this. Or if he's just making some guesses. <laughs> they gave their lives. So the hunt could begin. But I'm just going to go with it. I mean, they're getting a little bit of context clues here. They gave their lives so the hunt could begin. What happened here? Oh, I know what they're for. It's common in ritual sacrifice to take the heart of the victim. No, I don't think that's what happened. Something broke out of this body. Mm-hmm. Baby xenomorphs. So that's where they... They hatch the xenomorphs. So the, so the predators, I'm just guessing, the predators captured this xenomorph queen and they use her to hatch her eggs and then they get a bunch of human sacrifices to just gestate the right term so that the eggs could hatch and grow into xenomorphs and then the predators come down and hunt them. He's alive, but damn, how long has he been there? He's all frozen. We're moving on, everyone. You, stay here. We so you stay with him. Keep a team with you. This should be directly below the sacrificial chamber. It's 
a sarcophagus. This is the Aztec calendar. And this, it's some kind of combination lock. The dials are set for... Right now. <laughs> 1904. Someone opened this up years ago. What's today's date? Wait, wait. So in 1904, someone opened that and the everybody got wiped out and then they're just going to open it? Oh my god. Take a look at this. What? Someone's going to jump out at me. Oh. The predator guns. Any idea what these are? No. It's a good thing we brought the experts. Well, yeah, it is a good thing. Because this is like finding Moses' DVD collection. <laughs> yeah, seems a little bit out of place, huh? No! No! Don't touch them! Oh. These people just don't know how to act. <laughs> oh shit! Someone's got your guns before you did. The door! Yeah, wow. <gasps> Eggs. Oh no. <laughs> no. Oh god. Oh my god. Those things flew. I think that's what your satellite detected. A power plant for this pyramid firing up. Preparing. Preparing? What? The hunt. This was a bad idea to come here. Uh, it's too late for them. <gasps> uh, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. Already? <sighs> that seemed quick. We worship these things? According to this, we did. And the artifacts you removed from the sarcophagus seem to be their weapons. So did humans learn? Did humans build the pyramid? And then the predators came and took over and made it into all this or did the predators oh speaking of which or did the predators build the pyramid and the humans learned how to build them wow oh god take out Okay, either help, try to help him or run. So just stand there. No! No! Oh, great. Aw. Is this guy in the yellow gonna go so soon? His, his kids. Hey! Can you hear me? This guy's all alone. Oh no, please no aliens yet. Oh gosh, it's like the air ducts all over again. <laughs> this movie is great. You got any children? Not a son. That means that we do not have the luxury of quitting. I hope you survive. Survive the mess if I have to carry you the whole way. I'm guessing that the pyramid reconfigures every 10 minutes. Oh, this is part of their hunting game? You know, the Predators have a really strange sense of entertainment. Like, this is their version of a haunted house. Oh! Oh, God! Get me out of here! It's okay! Is this leg broken? Me? 
You ugly son of a bitch! <laughs> oh boy, there's at least three of them, it looks like. I think there were, what, six total? Oh, God. oh no! <laughs> Oh, I liked him. He was my favorite. Mm. Leave it. It can only slow us down. Too much has been lost to leave here with nothing. What you say is leaving with nothing, you would be happy to leave with. Because you have something, you have your life right now. You'd be happy to leave with your life. But you're probably not gonna. Woo <laughs> She just went for it. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. He's gonna. He's gonna get s diced up. Ooh. <laughs> That is so fucking cool! That was like an iconic shot right there. Okay, finally! Alien versus Predator! So one Predator is down, and one is going down? Jeez. Oh, that acid. What the hell? <laughs> uh. Ooh. Maybe, you know, maybe cutting the tail wasn't a good idea. He seems even more scary now. He's just flinging acid all over the place. I'm rooting for the predators. Oh no! Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Just mouth punched him in the forehead. So does that mean there's only one predator left? Take it easy. Mm. Waylon, mm. Waylon, look at me, look at me. The predators and the humans have to team up against the aliens. There's so many of them. We have to go, now. Waylon. Come with us. Sebastian, get her out of here. Waylon. Now. Yeah, he's already dying. What is that, cancer? Is it lung cancer? I, I don't know what else I would be looking at. Turn your back on me. Wow, he was a was kind of a badass at the end. Are they crazy? Is he gonna get squashed? No, not like this. Whoa! Get the blade. You might need that. know if this is a good movie or if it's just a lot of fan service that I'm just really digging but I'm <laughs> this is great <laughs> oh 
Oh. Ancient warriors would mark themselves with the blood of their kill. Yeah, I was wondering if he was keeping like a tally. This is starting to make sense. <laughs> this guy's crazy. He's like, I get it. It all makes sense. They taught humans how to build and were worshipped okay. as gods. They did teach the humans. Humans were used to breed the ultimate prey. The hunters would battle these great serpents. Oh my god, that's so many! What? But if the hunters lost, they made sure nothing survived. An entire civilization wiped out overnight. Wow. This whole thing was a trap. Without us, there could be no hunt. Mm. Oh, he's always alive. For now. Oh, so slimy. Come on, come on. Boom. <laughs> You gotta get home to your kids. Oh, maybe we were a little bit premature with our celebration. <laughs> Just keep zooming out. Stop. That's enough. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> to restore order, the guards need their guns. We're gonna give that thing his gun back. Are you crazy? We're in the middle of a war. Three guns. We are on our side. One predator and two humans. Let's go. But we have to make sure those serpents don't reach the surface. Everything everywhere could die. True. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Team up. But that's just like I said. Let's go. Won't be the first time I've seen a predator and a human team up. But again, I don't know if this came out before or after Predators. Maybe this was the first time. How do you say scared shitless in Italian? Non vedo l'ora di uscire con te da questa piramide perché mi sto cagando addosso. Way too long. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. I could never. Yeah. All her climbing experience, she could have easily climbed up, but not with the- No, 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 we need- No, we need three! We need three! Three guns! No, he was supposed to make it! What the hell? Okay, well, there's still a chance they're gonna put him in the little- Cocoon thing. Bet she could go for a Pepsi right now. <laughs> Allies. Come on, communicate with him. Wait, this way. Off of you, the, uh, the acid. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, I guess those guns aren't really handheld things, like they attach to their shoulder pads, so I don't think she could use it if she wanted to. Give her a weapon. And let's go! Hey. I'm coming with you. You hit me, you ugly bitch. She killed that thing. He's not gonna mark her, is he? Not really interested in that. Sir.
she's using her kill as her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Are they injuring her to melt the chains with the with her acid blood? Miller! I don't know if he made it. He would have had to shoot all of those things. Uh. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna get you out of there. It's too late. It's inside me. Oh no, no, don't. I don't think there's any helping him. got excited for a second. Oh. I'm sure she has garnered his respect. Oh, mama's free. How many hundreds of years has she been down there? Coming in and out of cryo. Just to give birth to children that just get massacred. Explosion? Well, I hope it kills every fucking one of <laughs> This is fun. Ooh. Oh no, he lost his gun. Help your friend. You are ugly. You know, maybe if we stopped calling them ugly... Whoa... <laughs> this whole place is gonna collapse. Wow. Something tells me that's not the end of it. They have to have a final showdown against the Queen. Face to face. <laughs> Cute, huh? Time for your mark. <laughs> he did that very delicately. Oh, we bonded with him and he's about to die, isn't it? Oh. oh wow, she is so big. Come on, come on, team. Ooh. Oh no, no. Why am I so worried about a predator living or not? Nice touch with the whale bones. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Got it. Oh, that is deep. Can they breathe under? This might sound stupid, but didn't one of the aliens survive like out in the vacuum of space? They don't need oxygen, right? Oh, friend. I was kind of hoping he'd live and then go back. Oh, there's another one. Oh, lots of them. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, like, I'm glad he gets to go back with his people. That's a lot of... It's <laughs> a lot of them. A trophy? Bye! <laughs> wow, that ship is very quiet. How 
she going to get home? <laughs> Hopefully they have some radio equipment left. Well, there goes that operation. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh. That was the perfect ending. That was so fun. This feels like just a guilty pleasure. It's just like a guilty pleasure movie. All right. That was awesome. 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 That was just like fan service from start to finish. Beautiful. What art? I've heard quite a few opinions about this movie in my comments <coughs> since I've been posting the aliens and the predators reactions and not all of them are positive. Um, there were quite a few people that seemed to not really be a fan of this movie and so I wasn't sure what to expect going in. The opinion felt pretty split. I'm not really sure like how good of an idea I got on just how split it is or not. Maybe just like since that's only just from a few comments. So maybe it is more loved or not loved than I am led to believe by reading the comments. But I feel like I want to lean towards that most people really like this movie because I really liked this movie. Although it doesn't take a whole lot to entertain me and to impress me. There were a lot of really cool shots, a lot of iconic shots. The predator and the alien facing off against each other from the profile. Um, I really liked when the right at the very end, the predator came jumping into view um, behind the queen alien to save the girl at the last second. And that girl, oh god, I don't remember anybody's names in this movie. I am so sorry, but she was, a, she was awesome. Like, she definitely has a lot of bravery. I think the most important thing is that she was just really able to stay on task, stay focused, and not let her emotions get the better of her. She was really, really calm for the longest time. And she was able to confront the predator and to try to befriend it or, you know, not really befriend, but make that connection to be allies against a common enemy and to hand it the weapon and when it could have just easily just murdered her. But she didn't really have too much of a choice in the matter anyways. And I loved just seeing the alien again and being scared by the tension again of the alien through the tunnels and and coming from above, from like a hole from above in, this, in the roof and just coming down. And I thought the aliens looked really great, especially when they were like close up, when they weren't moving too much. I felt like they were really well constructed. And this just makes me really excited for Alien Romulus. I hope it's going to be good. I think it's coming out sometime next year. I don't quite remember, but... We'll see. Some of you guys might be watching this from the future when it's already come out and I've already watched it and you know if it was good or not. But for right now, we don't know. Nobody knows. So now that we have finished all of these alien and predator movies that I was getting a lot of suggestions to watch. Now I want to know what you guys think that I should watch next following this. And I think that's about it. I just thought it was really, really cool, really fun. Some great action scenes, some great tension. I enjoyed some of the characters quite a bit, and I'm eager to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to reading your comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, goodbye.